So, we defined the many-to-many -many relationship inside the article model and we defined the inverse inside the website. Remember, we do not have a model for this pivot table and we explained why in the previous video. So, to define the many-to-many inside article, what we did was to create a websites function and return belongs to many website. Can you possibly find the inverse? And of course you have to look at this article website pivot table to understand the inverse relationship. Can you find it? So take a moment and think about this because it is very, very simple. So the answer is that we again return belongs to many. So inside website, so let me copy this one because it is very similar. So inside the website, we create a function that we call articles and we return belongs to many article. So the reason why it is the same, well, it is a pivot table and the relationship is actually the same. They are pretty much, they pretty much have the same concept, the same idea, the same usage. So pivot tables and the many-to-many -many relationship is very easy to understand and when it comes to eloquent and relationships, you just return belongs to many in both cases. So there is no really huge kind of logic here, nothing complicated. So now let's create a new route for the websites. So I will go to my web.php file and I will create a new route websites, so this is websites controller and let's also create the controller make controller websites controller, okay so let me open the controller uh, is it created or yeah it is created, okay so I will open the websites controller and the articles controller because they are very similar. So we can, oops, actually I wanted the whole index. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So now this is a website and we change articles to websites. Okay. Of course, we also need the index view. So I will create a new folder, websites, and we just need the index, so delete the show uh, view file. So now inside the index file, uh, what we want to do is to say websites and then as a website. Now here we can delete this and say the below articles came from this website and we need an href which is website URL okay again website URL for the text inside the anchor tag all right now uh, I will delete this paragraph because it is not needed and this one as well okay so for each so this is the inverse, which means that this is not article websites, but website articles as article. And I want to create a paragraph and display the title of the article like this. And maybe a BR every after each title. Okay. So let's take a look. If I go to websites, we can see that uh, for this website, we have these articles. And of course, you can create a link to each article. But the point here is that we used the inverse relationship to get the articles associated to this website. And if I go to the articles view, we get the websites associated to this article. So hopefully pivot tables, they make sense. And you also now understand the inverse, which is very, very simple, I guess, because they do not have many differences actually.